All right, we've built an Arch Linux B ISWM. So previous video was how to build an Arch Linux B, specifically an ISWM. So we are here, 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 ISWM here, right? And the video that I've just made is gonna come here. And the next thing you need to do, well, is install it, right? So how to install Arch Linux B ISO, how to restore Calamaris, and the Calamars installer explained. That's what's now up. Super F7, I'm launching VirtualBox. We're not doing Arsenix, we're doing ALP. Do I have already an ISWM? No. So I'm gonna use a template and say, I'm gonna install ISWM. We have it here and we put it in here. There you go. I have an Arch Linux B ISWM, optical drive is empty. I choose my drive. It's gonna be in my out. I have an ISO, open it, double click it, and off we go. Maximize it with Control F. And we can use line two if we have problems, save graphics, no mode set, right? But normally 99% of the people will be just happy with the first line and boot up. So this video is about, okay, so you've built something, articlinuxb.com, you've built something, and then, ah, then you need to test it out. Is it okay? Is it the way you like it? Do you want other software out and other software in? Entirely up to you. Hence the build your own ISO. So as usual, we greet it with the Articlinux welcome app. There are choices in life. Choice to get the latest, the newest, the best Arch Linux mirrors in your neighborhood. But that being said, it might already be the case, right? Osbeck is one of the best servers around. That's general set, right? Even in, it comes out in Japan, it comes out in the UK, and even in, in Houston at some point in time with all the same server as a result of our little control x or little aliases called mirror and mirror s and so on just type alias i still am on qwerty here mirror mirror a mirror d mirror s and this thing so it's all the same thing it's getting the best arch Linux mirrors second thing you can do i have i've stopped doing it and calamaris just functions great is clean everything up. So gparted, you're probably gonna know the application. You can delete partitions, incredible, difficult, encrypted partitions and stuff like that. And if you have more than one um, hard disk, SSD, and NVMe and, and other stuff, right? It's there. And then you can select something and trash something, etc. And start with a clean slate. That's basically why the button is here, start with a clean slate. But like I said, no, none of my computers in the last installation of this version of Arclinx have I used Gparted. Calamaris does its thing. Now we can delete this, well we can stop this um, application here and here with a quit and then we have only Calamaris. What we can, ha oh yeah, we should, could, could have a look already at applications if you want to, multimedia probably. There's my Spotify, graphics, Inkscape is there, and so on. So yes, Dropbox is here, Firefox Teams is here. So surely all the applications that we've selected in the packages x86, 64, it's there. So now it's just a matter of installing. Just a quick reference, that's the number of Calamaris each time it uh, gets better and better. And then you just decide whether you want to have um, another kernel as well, maybe during installation. But the only thing you need, of course, is internet, right? Internet has to be wired or wireless. It, you have to have internet. Otherwise you can't install Discord, for example. And just, just select whatever you like, whatever you want, but basically the B, well, you make that perfect, right? 
The only thing maybe you can do later on. I've never tried what I have now in my mind. That is adding Linux Zen, for example, to the build and see what happens then, right? What will it do? A good question. So that's a what if I'll do later on after the video. But basically you just install the, the software you need and that's what we're talking about. Discord is just software, but Discord can be added on our packages x86-64. So basically you can just walk through here because we put everything, all the themes and all that, all the the icons, it's it's not uh, dynamic, right? It's still the same um, choice from Arco Linux. So if you've put it on the ISO, it's going to be here as well. Simple as that. And you just keep on clicking, clicking, clicking. And then again, Belgian, next, erase, swap, no swap, hibernate, or with hibernate, or swap to file. It's up to you to decide. I'm going to decide to do a no swap for now and off we go and that's easy it's you've seen these videos right uh, if it's the first time of course no then but um, there are so many how to install Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B and so on it's once you get to know the workflow it may all make sense and what we've done is make a different kind of ISO. So what else did we do? Uh, let's see and look for some applications. Inkscape is new. Spotify was new. Dropbox is new. Teams is new. Maybe here's something else. Not sure what we've selected. anymore but that's basically um, what we've done and let's pause the video here because I mean we're just waiting for this to end and the only thing I can say as a tip guys be patient right it's 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 gonna be installing a lot of stuff if you decided to install all the software that's on there well yeah then you're stuck here in 70 80 percent and it will download everything first do you have a fast internet? No, you don't. Okay, then it will take a lot of time to download it. Then it needs to install everything. Do you have a fast computer to install everything? No, no SSD. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit longer again. So depending on all these factors, you just have to be patient. That's the best message I can give you in these videos here. Just be patient. Here it's very clear something is happening, but some maybe here might not be obvious for you that something is working or is happening i mean there is no message hey i'm downloading one and two and three and four and five and now i'm installing one and two and three so you just have to sit it out wait and be patient and now i'm gonna pause the video we're almost at the end so install bootloader meets grub right and then we are going to unmount the file system it's gone for some reason, but I guess, oh, there it is. I guess everything is cool. Well, soon no, if we reboot. I may have pressed on the restart without knowing it. All right, let's restart. Now this is a virtual box, which means the third line, I think. Yep, boot existing OS is where I should go. And this is your own personal ISO that you've built that you've installed and it will have everything you decided to have right spotify will be there and so on so i'm gonna quit this again and we have the same things of course there's no difference between the life inkscape is here spotify is here and then let's go for teams and discord this one i guess i clicked in calamars right and dropbox and um this is your system. This is your build. This is the way you see it. And of course, um, here as well, you have the button, right mouse click, log out. Okay, but this log out, we don't like to use. Super X is what we like to have, right? Super X gives us nice choices. Nice choices as drop down to go to Sadi Orchid, for example. 
and then escape and super x uh, ooh, we have not saved it sadly orchid safe settings of course escape super x and have something different right and there are so many more the one i like let's show you that as well boom, 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 boom. rooms was fun to make so it's a creative thing you can make it yourself it's not that difficult i had some fun looking into runes and then design it myself on, with a tablet and there you go right we have now a way to shut down and there you go guys this is how you build article xb and then install it later on okay cheers